So I'm out here with Lynx. And we are about to start the Narragansett Trail. And turn it into an overnight. Just to test out some gear and then enjoy some time in the woods. Not anything too epic, but it's epic just being out here. This is not our camp. This is one of the camps. But we're gonna keep moving on.
Here's one. There's a bunch of them. Middle of March. These things are hatching already. So not bad. I'm at 69% battery after recording all day and using the GPS while hiking. We are at our campsite and starting to set up. Temperatures tonight are expected to go into the mid 20s. We have some winds that are coming in and also some rain and snow that's moving in for tomorrow morning. So I brought the 7x9 Z-Pax tarp just to give me a little extra protection. So Lynx has the XMID 1 Pro all set up. And here's my humble abode tonight. We got the enlightened equipment 20 degree Enigma quilt. There's the new Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. NXT. And a desert pack here. And that's about it. Looking forward to another night out here. Shepherds take warning. Beautiful little sunrise through there. I got everything packed up before the snow arrives, hopefully. No crazy climbs or crazy elevation in Rhode Island, but mix up for it with some solitude and beautiful backpacking scenery. Takes me back to my through hike of the North South Trail.
Jiminy Cricket, he flew the coop. to wrap up this mini through hike in the Narragansett Trail. Temps got down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit last night. Mid 50s yesterday. Today it's only in the 30s right now. I'm super comfortable with this Senchi Lark and just a short sleeve shirt underneath it. And we didn't get any rain that held off. The snow held off even though we were expecting some of it. Thermarest pad worked great, super comfortable, and nice and quiet compared to the previous ones. I was really impressed with how quiet it was right out of the box. The Apple Watch did great. Super happy with the upgrade so far. Most likely be using that for the Allegheny 100 rather than my Series 6, just because the battery health dropped significantly. Didn't charge the watch at all this whole entire trip. Felt good to get out with the desert pack again too. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you like this content, consider subscribing to my channel. So I'm always adding new trip videos to it. Lots of gear reviews, first looks, tips, and a whole lot more. So I have a lot on my plate for this year and I'm looking forward to sharing it all with all of you. This was some great Allegheny 100 conditioning. Felt good just to be out here again, even though it was a shorter through hike. You gotta make time for those micro adventures when you can. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.